Robert Daly and this is the Daily Woodworks YouTube channel. Um, I am making a tabletop for Whiskey Barrel. Unfortunately the first top I made failed. I made it out of Southern Yellow Pine and I had severe twisting issues and warping cupping issues with that material. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going back and I'm using these oak stair treads. They're actual one inch thick um, by about 11 wide. I'm going to rip them down, join them. Uh, widen my table out to have about a 48 inch by 48 inch square then I'm going to use my circle jig to cut it out. Uh, I feel like this will be a lot more stable than my first attempt. Um, and this is also the best cost effective um, solution I had locally. Uh, the nearest hardwood supplier in my area is about two hours away um, and going down there to get um, some four quarter oak or five quarter oak just at the end of the day wasn't worth it compared to the price I could get for these pre-made treads that are already uh, with like three inch strips joined together, uh, plain to the same thickness, and pretty much ready to go with just a slight modification. That's what I'm going to use. table um, well first the whisk barrel is just going to sit on the ground on its own base I'm not making any legs or anything for it because I can put a fair amount of my weight right here and yeah I'll start to tip eventually but I mean any table will do that so that's perfectly acceptable this I just built the platform that's going to sit on I'm going to of course uh, uh, 45 these edges sand it really good round them over that way your knee doesn't hit anything sharp whenever you come up underneath it it's held on with four screws on each side going straight into the whiskey barrel and then this only goes down so far because the whiskey barrel uh, has a curve to it and so I basically wedged the top on and then held it in place and it's going to make a very sturdy thing and then this is going to run across the grain um, and then I'll pre-drill and make a big enough opening so the top has a little bit of room to shift and move, expand and contract, but will be held flat across, um, across the grain here. to get this um, set up. I made a very simple circle cutting jig from a router. Basically I used a three quarter inch outside diameter guide bushing with a one half inch uh, bit that gives me a one eighth inch offset. So I need to either add or subtract an eighth of an inch. So I won't be able to cut through this one inch thick slab all at once. So I'll make a couple of passes, get as deep as I can, cut the rest out with a jigsaw, and then I'll set up on a different work surface and go over it with a uh, pattern bit with a guide bushing. Oh, guide bearing, sorry. 